Hey guys, what's up? It's Dragon Ball Rocket 86 and it's a box of Dread Tong yet again. This box is actually thicker than usual, so I'm hoping there's a lot of goodies in here. The box still feels just as light as it usually does, so I'm hoping that it's there's some really awesome goodies in there. I kind of thought to myself that since this is a pretty big box that maybe I got the seventh box, but no. The seventh box would be a lot bigger. So, let's get this open and go from there. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Packing paper. Yeah, anyway. So, I'm gonna it's gonna be rather difficult to do this. Um, let's see if I can. All right. First thing in this box. And uh, 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 uh. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> Dropped it. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Dang, freaking mic. There we go. Anyway. The first thing which obviously makes up the space in the box is a leather face Funko Pop. Now, I'm not a huge collector of Funko Pop, but these couple Funko Pops, like actually this is probably the second one that I've gotten from Box of Dread, and I really like horror themed Funko Pops. They're really nice. Um, here's a close up of them. Pretty sweet. We can walk to the side. Um, actually, look at the back. It's got the. It's even got the leather face. Uh, even got the leather. The old leather face. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie poster, which is really awesome. Ouch. Next thing. What the heck is this? Question, what is this? Okay, so this is this is like a flyer for some kind of contest by full by full moon. If you're making a movie or whatever to distribute the movie to like distribute the movie to them or whatever, and you could have your movie seen by 40 million people or whatever audience. And it has like two movies as a like sample of movies that were done with this, I guess, and. One's, one of them's Evil Bong, which I've never seen, and the other one is Killjoy, which I've also never seen. So, yeah. Next one, next thing is a sticker. And I'm guessing that it's Frankenstein watching a movie with two people. I don't know. Kind of weird, random thing since Frankenstein wasn't a cannibal. Next thing. Okay, I've never heard of this. It's probably a movie, and I apologize for not knowing because I'm not a big cannibal fan. I'm not a really big, you know. But this thing says Green Inferno. Yeah, the Green Inferno, and I don't even know what that is. But the, the character they have here kind of looks weird. But yeah, that's... I'm not sure what that is. Next thing... I'll put this box down here. There's a couple more items in the box, but... This is the poster, and I would like to have both hands on it. So I can see it, so I can show you guys. Alright, the last poster I got was damaged, so I'm hoping that this one's not. Hmm. 
Alright, I'll let you guys see it first. And it's the same thing, it's Green Inferno. I've never heard of this movie. I think I may have seen a trailer for it. The guy kind of looks familiar now that I see like a whole thing of the guy. Never, never heard of the movie. Though, I mean, I might have to watch it just to see what it's about. Obviously, it's about cannibals, but... Next thing... in here is something that I actually knew what th I actually knew this item was going to be in here. I was kind of excited about this item. It's an exclusive cover. It's a comic book and it's Aliens Vampira. Vampirella, I mean, sorry. Vampire. Vampirella. And <clears throat> I'm guessing it's a crossover comic of the aliens crossing over into Vampirella's world. So it's ought to be a nice, a very nice read. Now, usually when you get a comic book, they usually are signed, but this one is not. That's fine with me, though. It's still a comic book. I was beginning to think that Box of Dread stopped doing, stopped their contract with Dynamite and stopped giving comics out in their boxes because they stopped for a while. But this is issue number one, so I'm guessing that they're going to start a new crossover series of comic books with Vampirella and Aliens. That'll be interesting, since Vampirella is a pretty awesome character as it is, and Aliens are obviously awesome. I'm... There's a better... Better look for it. I like it. That's definitely a, a nice item to have in this box. Alright, the next thing, and I think the last thing... Yeah, no, 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 there's one more thing. There's, excuse me. After this thing, there's one more thing. And this one's caught, and this is a... Some kind of magazine. Oh, that's, that's really sweet. That's like, um, in, hot, in a um, horror block, you get a, uh... You get Fangoria sometimes, but you always get Rumor. Well, there's another new book. It's by Full Moon, and it's called Del Delirium. I'm, I'm not sure how you say it. I'm sorry. I've never even heard of this magazine. But it covers, from what the cover says, it covers cult, horror, sci-fi, fantasy, and exploitation. And it's got Joe Dante on the Howling the greatest werewolf film ever made on the front cover as the topic so that'll be interesting let's just quick flip through this book yeah I'm, I'm, I'm liking this I might have to look these guys up um, I was looking and room ordered once like a bundle for a subscription just for like one year or whatever just like the most basic subscription I think they want like I think it was like 40 50 bucks and that's a bit pricey for me. A bit pricey for for a magazine subscription. It doesn't even cost that much to get Game Informer magazine, which, yeah. So, I might actually check this m magazine out. And if it's cheap, I might actually subscribe to it. So, anyways, next and last item. is an autograph and naturally the one thing that the only thing that gripes me about Box of Dread is they will give you a bunch of items a bunch of random items you don't know what the items are and you have to wait for a freaking email from them like maybe three or four days after you get the box to know what each item is which really makes unboxing videos stressful as hell because you don't know what the item is. Now, when they give you these autographs, they don't give you a like a certificate of authenticity or whatever with it so you know what the item is, what the what the uh, autograph is because every time I've so far that I've gotten a box of dread autograph is I've it's been like a bunch of squibble, so I don't know what the 
autograph is, which is really a pain in the butt because if I'm doing an unboxing video like I've done ever since I've gotten Box of Dread, obviously I want to tell my viewer to what the autograph is. So it's, it's really stressful. But this is the autograph. I don't know who it is. I don't know anything because I'm trying to zoom it in here. If you can see, it's just a big bunch of squibble. So you can't even tell who the autograph is from. They need to start including little cards in the box of dread. They can even make them, I mean, you know, they can kind of make them like horror block or they can make a book like what Loot Crate used to do and just, you know, have a list of all the items that are in the box or what you could have gotten in the box, but you got this or that instead, you know? So that way people know what they got because this movie but this guy's holding this, I guess, uh, I, I don't even know what movie this is. So I don't know who I have an autograph from. It's really stressful, but, I'm, but I'll give them pointers for, you know, the fact that it's actually an autograph. Because autographs, like, I, I never even got that. I said that in, like, a couple videos unboxing of back. I've never even gotten autographs in the loot crate box or anything so this is well worth it i like the fact that they sometimes include autographs it's really awesome i missed out on the twins autograph from the horror block from last month because i had to suspend it temporarily for comic-con which really kills me that i missed that autograph but horror block seems to do autographs every now and then just like Box of Drive, which is awesome. I can really build my autograph collection up with that. But anyways, guys, um, I don't want this. I don't want to ramble on more than I already have. Now, the uh, favorite item in this box. <laughs> now that's kind of difficult because there was a couple items in here that I really like. Now. I, I'm sorry, I'm just not a fan. I just do not like this green Inferno thing because I don't even know what it was. I've never even heard of the movie. And they have two promotional items in here from the movie. And I just, like I said, never even heard of it. So I don't even like it. I'll probably give it away or something. I don't know. But yeah. Favorite item. Kind of, it's kind of hard. I mean,. I like the Leatherface Funko Pop, don't get me wrong. I've just never been a really big Funko Pop fan, but it's hard to pick between the Funko Pop, Leatherface, the autograph, which I don't know who it is of, the uh, new horror magazine, and the comic book. I would have to say that my favorite item in this actually is the magazine because it's a different magazine I've never even heard of it it's probably cheaper than the other magazine subscriptions out there and it's got the howling on the on the front cover so you know awesome it's it would be a strong you know thing between Leatherface and obviously the magazine I like the comic book but yeah but anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. And also, please be sure to check my friends out over at Horror Addicts. The link will be in the description. So check them out, subscribe to them, and show them plenty of love. They need it. Well, they don't need it, but it would be awesome if you did. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Dragonlord Rocket E6 out.